Hmm. No, let me see. No, kind of not exactly. Let's see. What about this? That seems closer. Well, that does seem like necessary information. Oof. Okay. Uh, that seems like something. And submechanophobia. Um, what is it exactly? Let's see if I get it. Submechanophobia. The fear of partially or fully submerged man-made objects. Oh. <laughs> Inaccurate. Hi, I'm Jack, uh, and I have vivisaptophobia. Don't know what that is? You wouldn't. Uh, it's made up. The word, I mean, is made up. I invented it. And, well, I had to because I, for the life of me, could not find the proper name for this fear that has become all too apparent lately. And I don't even know why. It's not like I've been around the ocean more. Okay, I should probably explain what this is. Vivisactophobia is the irrational fear of being trapped in a car that is sinking underwater. It is characterized by feelings of intense or distressing anxiety when driving near a body of water, especially at an altitude above a body of water, as well as obsessive thoughts about plunging into said body of water while still being trapped in the car and dying when it eventually sinks down to the bottom. The etymology is Greek, because I tried Old English first, but that just came out as... Sinkincarasphobia. Okay. And I thought that sounded kind of silly. So instead, I went with Vivisaptophobia. This part comes from, and excuse my butchering of the Greek language, I think it's Vivisonatas or Vivisemenos, which is the Greek word for sinking. Uh, this part comes from aftokiniko, which is the Greek word for car, and this means fear. That's the obvious one. Yeah. You're probably wondering why I've done all this and just... You see, labels have always helped me feel normal. Like, oh, other people feel this too. I'm not the weird one, you know, and just... I just wanted a word to point to and say, see that, that's what I'm experiencing. That's what I'm feeling. Just so that I won't feel like I'm, I don't know, irrational. So I made one up, but I guess me making one up goes entirely against my reasoning for wanting one, but Eh, whatever. I, I guess I didn't fully think it through. Well, either way, I have this fear. And you know, I think about it all the time. Like, like, every single time that I get into my car, I think about it. And, and I think about it, and it stops me. All I can do is sit there and think, what if I drive off a cliff? What if I drive off a bridge? I live near a lot of bridges. I live in the Bay Area. One of them is bound to be super drive off of a bull. What if one stops working? What if my car stops working? Then how would I roll down the windows? There's only a 30 second window. Heh, <laughs> window. I mean, 30 second window for how long the window rolling down mechanism works before they fail after being plunged into the water. What if I can't roll them down in time? What if I'm wearing something that's super hard to swim in? What if I can't take off my seatbelt in time and they just find my corpse stuck there, strapped to its seat? What if I die without clearing my browser history? Wait, I don't have anything weird on there. <laughs> I'm a writer! 
Okay, that one might have not had to do with anything, but it's a real thing to be concerned about. I mean, I don't want someone going around thinking that I'm a murderer because I looked up how to make it seem like somebody had a heart attack when it was actually murder, you know? Just inject a 100 milliliter syringe of air directly into their bloodstream. But that was just for scientific purposes. <laughs> Anyway, I did the research on how to prepare for one of those events and I knew exactly what I was supposed to get and exactly the place that I should go to get it. Online. I don't go where other people are. But in my research that constantly put me in a state of fear and distress because I love torturing myself with things that I'm scared of, I found out just how dangerous it actually is to be trapped in a car that is sinking underwater. That is why I always keep a hammer for smashing the window just in case, a box cutter for cutting the seatbelt if you can't get it off, and finally, a flashlight for navigating underwater, all kept in my car at all times. Because you never know what's gonna happen, right? You never know. You could die. Suffocating. Slowly watching the water raise up while you're trapped there. You can't do anything about it. Seeing your car sinking, slowly tilting forward because the engine is likely in the front, meaning that the car will tip this way and you'll see the bottom of the ocean floor as you slowly descend towards it, knowing that your corpse will forever be trapped in the way that it died. But it'll probably be fine, right? I'm just saying you gotta be prepared. You'll, you never know. That brings us to today, still afraid of driving near water, <laughs> so what's your advice regarding that? I know I've recently started this new anxiety medication, so I don't know if that's what's affecting it, so I don't know, what, what do you think? Uh, can you hear me? You're muted. Of course.